Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna be creating the Cherish Pokeball. Now this one is gonna be a bit technical and it's a little bit tricky, but right off the bat, I want to express that I won't be creating the little um, cut right here, um, just for timing purposes. If by any chance you would like to see that in an updated um, tutorial, please let me know. I'm just gonna make it as streamlined as possible. Another thing is that I'll be using a lot of shortcuts and today I'll be using another type of screen cuts uh, which is gonna enable, enable everyone to see more clearly the shortcuts and the button press. And second of all, I would like to give a shout out to, uh, sorry if I butcher your uh, username, Bono, Jono Bon. He created, uh, he followed one of the tutorials and created one of the um, Pokeballs, which is really cool. Put a little bit of his own spin and style. The button is a bit more rounded, a bit more metallic and smooth. He didn't um, make it kind of sharp corners. It's nice and smooth. He put his own style uh, to it. So that is really, really cool. Anybody uh, that follows the tutorials, please let me know. Put the links down below and I'll gladly share it in the next video and give you a shout out. Okay. So let's get started. I start by uh, your default display and delete the camera and um, the light right off the bat. So we press an X. Okay, excellent. Now select your cube and press Control Three. Uh, not on the number pad, on the numbers on the top of the keyboard. All right, excellent. Now let's see here. Excellent. Now, while it's selected, um, do a control A and it's going to give you this panel here to apply and press apply all modifiers. And right off the bat, we didn't even have to go to the modifier uh, section right here. Press tab and then do one of the favorite shortcuts in this channel, which is shift all S, uh, which is the two sphere or circle uh, shortcut. You can also find it here. All right, so now that we have that, press Alt and click here and do S, X, zero on the number pad and then click. So Alt, click, S, X, and zero to straighten those lines. So you're scaling um, the average of those points down to zero, the average. All right, so S, now uh, Z, and then zero. Same thing at this one, not the metal one because it doesn't need it. Perfect. Now you can do again your uh, press A and Shift S Alt, Shift, uh, Shift Alt S. Sorry. There we go. And select the middle, the surrounding dots. You don't have to pick the middle one, but you can't. And then do again, shift all S to make a perfect circle. Press A, shift all S. Perfect. And right off the bat, we're, we're getting pretty close. So something that um, I'll do here is go press uh, Z and then four and then one. And with your uh, box selection, you could also you could have also pressed W. Uh, now press X, delete vertices. Now press tab and either six or to the right, All right? And now let's apply the mirror modifier. Perfect. Press Alt again. I'll be moving these two vertices to the left. So click on one and then double tap on the G button. So it's constrained to the line. Uh, actually, there's good. It's fine, almost like halfway of it. I was getting an error by placing it here. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's 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 all about. It was like resetting, so I'm not sure. Uh, G twice and then move it kind of towards the center. Perfect. Now that that's in both sides, sides uh, press tab again 
and do a control A and apply all modifiers. You also could click on the apply all if you have the add-on selected, but we're doing shortcuts. Uh, now press tab again. Okay, excellent. Now two, control click all the way around and select the uh, bevel tool. And we're gonna go about there, I think it's fine. Okay, that is perfect. Press three and select your box tool again. Okay, good. Now press E to extrude. And this doesn't have to be perfect until you feel right. I'm gonna go down here. Now S, Y, and zero to flatten it. Okay. I think the distance between here and here is just right uh, to me. So keep that. I'm going to go and press two and select the inner circle and go back into the bevel. I want to just make it slightly about that size while well, keeping it selected. Do a uh, it's true by pressing E and uh, yeah, go down just a little bit. Move it to your left and it's going to go in. Um, do that again. And at, towards the end, I'll show you guys why I did that. Okay. Now that I have this selected, might as well just do that now because it's going to be easier later on to get those crevices. I'm going to go here and create a material. So add a new material and I'm going to assign it. And that's going to be gray. Actually, I'm going to do control plus on the number pad and assign that one as well. Now press three to go into the faces and extrude. Press three on the number pad and I'm going to extrude about almost the same length as the circumference of the sphere. Okay, that's pretty good. Now do an inner uh, inner extrude. So shrink it down here. About about the same size of the outside, probably just smaller. If you stop by any chance, you can keep on making it smaller here. Or you could just kill it too. Um, I'm just gonna okay. I clicked away, so I'm just gonna shrink it just slightly. Okay, that's perfect. Now press two again and select the inner circle once more. And I'll do the same thing I did uh, just now, which is going to the bevel and choosing about the size. Okay. And now it's true by pressing E just a little bit. Oh, that was a little bit too far. So let's press E. So just a little bit. And then it's true again, just a little bit farther. Okay, that looks good. Press three, pre press three again. And let's do another uh, extrude. About there. Okay. And um, I made a mistake because I didn't um, select the inner selection. I didn't take advantage that I had it selected, but I can still I can still see it um, here. So I'm just going to press W and I'll click. Okay, and then Control Plus and assign this material, the green one. Uh, perfect. Okay. 
I'm going to go back to this section for the uh, extra tweaking. Now, for the rest, let's click uh, here and control click all the way around. All right. So what I'm going to do is instead of pressing E, I'll do this um, extrude along normals. OK. And uh, make sure that you have the medium point selected. OK. And it should be something about think about about there yeah that looks good okay so now press one and I'm going to uh, select all the middle points all the way around okay all but um, this one and this one I'm gonna leave them for last for now and press S to scale just slightly to give us some kind of uh, curvature okay that looks good now this point right here and I left it for last because uh, based on the angle that is at and uh, having medium and these are the last uh, points it, it's gonna give you like some some weirdness uh, slightly so now we're gonna change the medium point to the uh, 3d cursor if it's in the middle and I'm going to scale okay that's good now press 2 again and go all the way around. Now that we have that, um, do a bevel about about there. I think that's good. I'm just gonna do. Let's see how it looks. Zero point one five. I mean, yeah. So that. Uh, 0 0.015 exactly now let's do the uh, extra long normals again and i'm looking at this edge right here to see how much i'm extruding actually before extruding before extruding and doing this selection um press one i almost forgot about this go into your knife tool or press uh, k and select your point as you can see here we have a triangle that's gonna cause trouble later on so press this point right here and click on the middle of the triangle and enter Okay, so now what we need to do is take the two points and I'm just going to do a, oh, it's in the cursor. Let's see here, medium points, see how that looks. Okay, perfect. Let's see if it didn't move out of place. No. Nope. All right, so one point, I'm going to say 1.25. That gives it a little bit of uh, uh, roundness. Yeah, we don't have a straight line. Perfect. 
and now press 3 again and shift all click and now do your screw at low normals about there it's fine okay so now I'm going to go uh, in here and actually do a uh, loop cut and cut right here in the middle just one click and now that is selected uh, I'll do it to cursor and do a scale just slightly and that will give us even more of a curve okay now selection tool uh i'll click and check that everything is selected perfect i'm going to do a bevel about 3.5 so it's gonna be yeah, I think that'll be enough. So it's 0 0.035, 0 0.0035. And then as uh, segments, do two. And then for the shape, go all the way to one. Okay, for the top section, do all click, shift all click, and then click, click, and go here. Make sure that they are selected as well. Okay. And here I'll be doing pretty much the same thing. That's way too much. So let's try the 3.5. That's one. And then move your um, shape all the way to the right to make it one. Okay, that looks good. And now from then on, it's just a few details. I'll click here. With. Let's do. 0 0.35 and see how that looks. OK, um, two segments all the way to the right. Same procedure. And here in this shape, it's going to be just slightly different. This is the inner. So I'm going to take a loop cut and click here and drag to about, about here. And then another one here. And then press W, 3, and click. And now with your astral normals, I just, I'm going to shoot chest. Just a little bit. Okay. And do that again. But just uh, a tiny little bit. So just pass your other uh, mark. And now that I have that selected, I'll do a control plus click and again, actually just one time. And I'm going to assign that to the gray material. Okay, that's good. Uh, perfect. I'm going to do the same thing here. I like the way um, how the top of the shell of the Pokeball looks with this method. So that's why I am using it.
and this time I'm gonna do zero zero four. See how that looks. Okay, I think it looks good. And then two segments and one. Okay, that's good. Now for this section right here and this one, I will do loop cuts. So that's pretty much it. Um, all, I, all we need to do is assign the colors. So first of all, uh, let's click away, press tab. Okay, uh, color like this, slightly darker. Okay, and let's check how the Pokeball looks under a uh, subdivision modifier. So uh, control three. Okay, that looks pretty cool already. We have here the nice uh, dark outlines that I wanted to get. So that's uh, really, really cool. Let's disable it for now and let's continue to add the rest. Press three and then selection, selection, and then plus ones. Material, make sure that the gray is assigned. I'm going to select this one just to make sure. And then assign. Okay, select that one plus. And four times. So then assign and this two, they are red. And I think that's it. So if we turn this back on, press tab. Excellent. Now for color, let's give it some reflections by reducing the uh, roughness. And perfect. There you have it. I see how um, I, I love how the um, right click and press smooth. I just love how we get kind of this uh, rawness on the edge. That's why we did the trick. And you can see the top layer, how I was saying, it kind of folds in. So that is a nice little trick. So you can feel like a, like a shell is holding it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This took me a while, um, uh, this tutorial to do. The reason why I didn't do uh, the line right here is it's gonna take uh, quite a long time and it kind of ruins this shape right here. Um, you could do that with textures, but just for time and purposes, I didn't do it. I think it looks, I think it still looks really, really cool. Um, all right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.